today on my channel planner friends well this is the journal i've decided to use for november and my 30 days of gratitude project it's beautiful it's adorable and i decorated the inserts but what i'm going to do with you is just decorate some of the pages and just chit chat so pull up a cup of tea and let's talk gratitude let's talk journaling and decorating and just Oh, let's embrace the beauty of this wonderful, wonderful time of year. So stay tuned, planner friends. Hello, planner friends, and welcome to my channel. I'm One Crafty Dolo, and I'm so happy you're here with me today. Thank you for taking your time and spending it with me. So today, what I thought we could do is I... Off camera, I decorated my uh, pocket TN as my journal. This is my journal and I am getting it ready for November. <laughs> so I wanted to share with you what I've done and maybe we could do a de little decorating and a little bit of talking. So let's get into it. If you're new, you're welcome to subscribe and tap the notification bell. If you're returning, Thank you. Thank you for being part of my community. I love this space. I can't thank you enough for being here. And yeah, let's get down to it. So over a year ago, I decided to start journaling, as they say, on the regular. <laughs> and I used a print pression weeks planner and it was great and I loved it and I had fun and creativity and what I found I created a free course I'll drop the link below what I found is journaling was amazing it was one of the best form of self-care best forms of self-care that I could have even tried I like manicures I like facials. I like putting goop in my hair and walking around. Like I do all kinds of crazy stuff, right? Masks on my feet, but journaling, if I had to strip all of those away, I would definitely stick with journaling as my favorite form of self-care. So I'm ready for November and I want to show you what I did. And then maybe we can do a little decorating. I'll be honest with you. A lot of times I will create on camera but when I'm really not sure I have visual challenges so getting lines straight is hard even with measuring I still ugh. anyway this has been my journal um love it just love it. it it's it was wonderful I'm happy I did it I had picked up a bunch of these on Mercari I can stick that video below I really scored a deal and this beauty isn't she gorgeous oh my gosh just love it to bits so I thought this would be the perfect place for starting November journaling because November I do the 30 days of gratitude challenge um I have a bit of a surprise for you about that next Wednesday I'm working on it now not the video but the challenge and yeah I'm gonna float you a freebie about that so please stay tuned so this beauty is from um, Prima Marketing it's a pocket this is from Etsy oh gosh what's the name of the shop I'll link it below isn't that like I'm a cat person if you're new here and, you, and I'm a tea person so this is so perfect and I thought it went so lovely and quick quick shipping inexpensive see I always have tea here so I have some stickers. I also, I have a hole punch, or not a hole punch, a paper punch. I gotta get more, I have one, but they never go on sale and I'm very frugal. So I have cut out a bunch of these hearts. So I'm gonna keep them over there. I found this, I was so happy I found this. I knew I had it. And believe it or not, it was, oh, it doesn't matter. It was in with planner stuff, but buried. This is one of the old Squad Goals uh, sticker books from Happy Planner. I've used a fair amount of it, but I always love the... This is one of the things I wish they would come out with more is the Squad Girls goals. It's just fabulous. I have this little sticker sheet, but I keep bringing this sheet out and not using it. And then I think color-wise, this could be useful. This sticker tablet from, 
from Carpe Diem. So let me show you, I've created a really happy spacer. Oh my gosh, can you get over that? So cute. So let's open her up. I didn't go too crazy in terms of pockets or anything like that. These um, inserts were a part of the package when I bought them from Macari and I recovered them. This paper is from Simple Stories. It's one of the, I don't remember which collection, I'll put it down below. I know this one is from the My Story collection. I thought it was so cute. You know, a little cafe. This is an old Coco Daisy clip that I just thought, yeah, put something in there. So what I did is I measured the paper and then I glue, glued, cut, and then for, so it wouldn't crack. I don't quite cover the, the seam. What I do is I bring it to the edge pretty close and then I use washi to kind of bind it together. And then I just added a few elements here. Here I put a journaling card in. Here you go, because I'm honest. You know why there's a journaling card here? Because I stamped the inside cover and I didn't leave enough room <laughs> to put it, the word gratitude. It was like going to be smushed. So I thought, okay, well, there's got to be a creative way to do that. And then I just stuck this here. Um, this is really just lists in this one, but every day can be a gratitude um, journal entry. So I thought I could easily use this. It's going to work, but I do want to add some decoration to it. And then to match this kind of, I picked out this gingham. Again, it's a simple stories collection. My cuts aren't perfect, but I like what I'm doing. You can even see here, my, my washi needs to be, it's not even lined up properly, but I'm doing the best I can here. Here's the other washi and then I added these little elements from the collection and this is all from the my story and well I kind of I don't know if I would well I don't I have cats but if I had a poodle would I dye it I don't know that I would but I thought it was cute so and this is just graph paper I only put two inserts in here um the other one had three. Sometimes that was a little hard to keep up with, if you want me to be honest with you. I like to take my extra time and mostly, I don't know, I'm creative in a lot of different ways. So yeah, I felt overwhelmed with the three in here, in the other one. So why don't we just come up and maybe we'll decorate a few days. I want to look at the squat. Oh, I love these. I would, this, if they would come back out with this, I mean, I, I think some of the seasons I've got a lot left. I think summer especially. Yeah, see, I've got all those. I wish I'd found it sooner. Um, so I have these, let's see here, let me put this over a second. These, I mean, you see, I used quite a bit of it, clearly. It's kind of falling apart here. But these, I love these girls. I love, I just, yeah, it's one of my jams. I don't know that I put these in there because they're more functional, some florals, and then, yeah, then we get into the winter stuff. So I thought we could use some of these just to have a little fun. I, I don't know. I wish somebody would come out with a book of just washi strips, but hey, that's just me. So here we go. Here's something small that at first glance, you know, you may miss. So I'm just gonna make this one simple here. That's all I need right? It looks ridiculous. It's just that, but it matches over here. I think that's a good way to go there. I'm just adding little embellishments as we go here. Nothing huge, nothing major. I wouldn't mind some of these girls in here. So let's, let's see here. What have we got? Oh, I like this girl with the bike. She's over there too, but I kind of like the orange better. I know a lot of people use tweezers to get their stickers up. I'm not great with those. It's just not, yeah, not the most coordinated, but that's okay. So then I put her here. Oh, how sweet. Just, I'm just judging this up a little bit. I mean, you don't have to, certainly. It's not mandatory. This is just some journaling fun. And I love making it a really creative spot and space that for me, I don't know, just kind of mad. Whoops. Let me grab my, I'm always using this exacto knife. Like it's my life. All right, let's try this again. 
you know what? I'm going to leave her. I actually kind of like it where she is, even though it's she's not totally straight, but I think that's cute. So maybe if we do a week in this one, what do you think? If I can do a week there, I'm not going to use just the girls. So let's see what else I've got in here, if anything. Here's some little bits of like, here's some little washi. I could use some of those. Oh, maybe some of these flowers. These are cute. Okay, I can do that, definitely. And I might end up adding some of these little washi strips. They're so cute. I love washi, but I do like washi strips more than I would have thought. So we need somebody to design a sticker book. Let me monkey with this. I swear, if you have any kind of visual issues, challenges, this exact, the X-Acto knife is your BFF when it comes to stickers. <laughs> Here's a little leaf, that's pretty cute. And here's some more. So why don't we just add some of the leaves. Again, I really hope they come out with more, um, yeah, more of the squad girls. They're so cute. There we go. And maybe one of these tiny ones right here. So there's three. Okay, and then like I said, I saw those washi strips somewhere here. Yeah, look at those. They're small and they're cute. So why don't we, why not, right? Let's have some fun. Oh, they're not. They're flags. Oh, duh. Oh, here I'm getting all excited thinking they're washi strips. Dag nabbit. <laughs> Dag nabbit rabbit. Well, let's see what I've got here. So we've got this. One, two, three, four, five. So two more days of stickers from here. And then we're gonna do the other book a little bit and just chit chat. So here's some washi strips I can use. I don't know if you, you know what? Let's hold on to that for the other book. I don't know if you have ever participated in the 30 days of gratitude challenge, um, but I'm really into it. I've always been into it and this year especially. So I have, I'm going to create for next week a video where I explain why I'm so into it. But the idea is adopting gratitude as a mantra, as a way of life, so to speak. Really, it improves your mental health. It improves your physical health. And there is something to be said, dare I say, for um, not waiting until a new year to institute new habits. And that's something I do feel pretty strongly about. So let's grab this little washi here. So I just wanna say that if you want to join me this year in the gratitude challenge, I would really love that. So I'm going to put this one here and then I'm going to put this one on the other side. Yes. Don't you agree? We need a sticker book of washi strips. If anyone knows of one, let me know because I think that would be awesome. Yeah. Put this one here. And what I'd like to do truthfully is to add in some of these okay so let me grab some adhesive I'm getting better I used to wrestle with these things for whatever reason let's move this out of the way for now goodbye friend and let's put this down here and let's just let's have fun so we'll do two of these two of those oops is it empty it might be empty I've been using it Oh no, there it is. There we go. I was doing better with them mostly. I'm just gonna put this here. And then on this side, I'm gonna use one of these. So cute. Put that one there. Yeah, that kind of works, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know that there's any more strips in here. I'll look real quick. Know those things now nope. I don't know that there are if not I can just drag out real washy I mean yeah oh wait there's some green ones you know what 
Mm, that one's too long. And these are turned out to be flags. Isn't that so funny? Here I am thinking they're washy. Let me see what I've got here. Oh, you know what I do have? This is an old Coco Daisy washi. So maybe I can kind of add some of that in here. I always have my little pen case handy on my desk. As I'm looking out my window, I'll have to post a picture. Uh, I did one not that long ago but about the view from my desk and it just was glorious. And every day it seems like the leaves are just more and more glorious. And I don't know. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, come on. <laughs> okay, great. And let's add one of these little hearts right here. Oops, let's try it again. I love the creative process. If you had told me that I had creativity in me, I would have been like, no, no, I don't. Yes, I do. Turns out, friends, I do. Okay, we're getting there. As I said, we just set up the first week and I think that'll be good. I have this old washi. This is an old Simple Stories washi. Incidentally, I'm all about, you know, doing things inexpensively. Simple Stories is coming out with some great collections for winter and for Valentine's Day. So even if you do what I did this last time, I just bought journaling cards and I bought um, the sticker book. The sticker books from Simple Stories are really nice and I really recommend them. So I'm keeping my eyes. They're, they're coming out in November. There's a winter one that I really thought was cute. There's a few. They really, I love their collections. Honestly, I just, I love their collections. I think they're some of the prettiest and I should probably get some more washi from them. I've been using what I've got and using what I've got. I used to subscribe. I used to subscribe to Coco Daisy and to Simply Gilded. The uh was I had problems with the Coco Daisy subscription when we moved. They were kind of, you know, they were kind of snarky about it. I was like, can you hold my box by the time? Because there's a delay between when they take the money when you pay and then when they mail it and I'm like, just hold it for me. And they're like, they really were not very nice. And I'm not disparaging the company itself, but I was like, well, you know what? Okay. They did it begrudgingly. And then I canceled. Simply Gilded was great. They're a wonderful subscription. Coco Daisy products are beautiful, but one, two, three, four, five, two more days. Ooh, this is exciting and fun and thanks for doing this with me so what I intend to do just so you know let me see here what I would like to do with this is in the front where the lists are I am going to do a prompt a day for the 30 days of gratitude I've determined that's how I want to do it and what I want to do then in this section, this may be something as simple. Honestly, it just may be quotes. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, truthfully. So I, time will tell what I decide to do with this. But yeah, I just want it to be different and fun. And I'm looking for washi. That's, hmm. And I found one. I believe this is an old Coco Daisy one. Probably from one of my last kits. Uh, their products are lovely, really. If you want a subscription box, there's so many planner subscriptions. Really, I, you know, Simply Gilded, she's wonderful. They're a wonderful company. They're, they work with you. Oh, they're lovely. Just lovely. I, And they're kind and they're responsive on social media. They're just, just a lot. Oh, isn't that pretty? That is really pretty. Um, just a lovely company to deal with, in my opinion. Alrighty, so let's get this last one up. Pretty, pretty. Very pretty. How nice. I gotta admit, I'm pretty excited about this, you know, next month. I really am. I just, I, I can't believe it's gonna be November and... Our Thanksgivings are usually just so, they're just so lovely and chill and yeah, 
That's good. All right, let's move some of my, <laughs> you can't see the clutter all around here. Let's just take a quick peek. So I've got the first few days here. And like I said, I am going to tackle a prompt a day in this section. And I think that'll work really nicely. I will probably use um, more of the squad goals stickers. I wouldn't mind getting more at some point, but you know, did I do seven? One, two, three. <laughs> Four or five. Yeah, I did. And then I have this. I love it. It's great. And that's very simple. And I may end up adding more of the washi on the top, truthfully. But this is journaling. And in this section, I think I'm going to... I like putting quotes in my journals. That's really something that matters to me. Mm. So I think what I'll do is the gratitude in the front and quotes in this section. So... And that's it. Did I put it? No, I was going to put something back here. I haven't yet. I might. And I still have to put my pen in here. But we're all set. I hope I inspire you in terms of creativity. I want you to know that even if you don't consider yourself creative or your, your funds are limited, Walmart has single-spaced paper. Uh, the craft stores offer single-sided, I should say not single space, single-sided paper that you can use in a project like this. You don't need the double-sided for something like this. Dollar Tree has embellishments galore. I use their stuff all the time. So I really encourage you to find your creativity and not pay too much either while you're at it. Look for bargains on eBay. I find better things on Mercari. That's my own personal. eBay is a pain with all their fees and everything. Um, look at Etsy. I find old paper collections on Etsy all the time where you just buy one sheet here, one sheet there. Um, I'll link below a woman I bought from a number of them from before and, and she was just wonderful to work with. So, all right, planner friends, let's get into journaling and let's get into November. And I'm so happy you're here with me. Let's make it a great month. Have a great day, planner friends. Bye.